It took over 6,000 gallons of water to extinguish the flames emitted from this Tesla Model S. EVs can be especially dangerous when they catch fire. The EV movement has been growing rapidly over the last couple of years, and Tesla has even started to outsell Toyota in some market. But we're also beginning to see an alarming increase in electric vehicle explosions. So what exactly is going on? And what does this mean for the EV movement? Join us as we discuss how EVs are exploding in shocking numbers. As the world shifts towards electric transportation, there have been some concerning incidents involving fires related to this new technology. These fires have affected various electric vehicles, from simple e-bikes to high-end Teslas. These fire incidents pose an extra challenge for the electric vehicle industry, which is already dealing with cost issues and infrastructure limitations. Beyond the loss of lives in these high-profile fires, there is a risk that these incidents could hinder the progress of electric transportation. One unsettling incident occurred in April 2022 when a Tesla vehicle caught fire after colliding with a tree in New Hampshire. The situation became even more alarming when the fire rekindled later in a tow line. Similarly, in August 2022, BMW had to issue a recall for specific BMW i4 and BMW iX models due to the potential fire risk associated with their batteries. It's not just cars that have been affected. In June, a tragic fire broke out in an e-bike repair shop near New York's Chinatown. This devastating incident resulted in the loss of four lives of individuals residing above the shop. Even more alarming is the fact that, so far this year, there have been 13 deaths in the city attributed to lithium-ion battery fires, which is more than double the total recorded in the previous year, according to the fire department. As the popularity of electric vehicles grow, it's no surprise that the number of fire-related incidents has also increased. Automakers like General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Hyundai Motors, among others, have also had to spend a substantial amount of money to handle recalls related to EV fires. There have also been reports of fire incidents in China. According to these reports, more than 19,000 EVs have been involved in fire incidents indicating a need for heightened attention to safety measures and regulatory scrutiny. One noteworthy aspect of these reports is that the leading EV manufacturer in China, BYD, has been associated with the largest number of fire-related incidents. As one of the prominent players in the Chinese EV market, such incidents have sparked discussion about the safety standards implemented by manufacturers and the need for comprehensive quality checks throughout the production process. Among the distressing incidents, one alarming occurrence took place in Fuzhou, Jiangxi, where a privately owned car parked by the roadside unexpectedly burst into flames. Shocking videos captured the harrowing moment when the car's door and shattered glass fragments were forcefully propelled onto the street, narrowly avoiding a pedestrian. Another video that went viral in Zhejiang province, located in eastern China, showed two women who made a risky decision to jump out of a moving electric car while it was traveling on a highway because it had caught fire. Just to be clear, EVs are less likely than combustion engine vehicles to catch fire. However, despite the overall safety benefits of EVs, negative incidents involving fires have received considerable media attention which has posed challenges for the EV industry. These isolated incidents tend to draw public scrutiny and create concerns among potential buyers, making it harder for the electric vehicle market to gain widespread acceptance. When fires break out on ships carrying electric vehicles, lithium-ion batteries get additional attention. Recently, a notable event occurred off the coast of the Netherlands where a ship carrying nearly 3,000 cars caught fire. Reports from a Dutch news agency suggested that one of the 25 electric vehicles on board might have been the source of the fire. While it's essential to investigate the causes thoroughly, such incidents tend to intensify the focus on battery safety in electric vehicles. Even in cases where the fire's origin remains officially unknown, lithium-ion batteries often become the targets of suspicion. For example, the Felicity Ace fire last year resulted in the sinking of nearly 4,000 vehicles on a ship, and the involvement of lithium-ion batteries was widely speculated. So maybe these incidents can be overhyped sometimes. 
but that doesn't mean that they don't happen, and frequently too. The foundation of any modern electric vehicle lies in its lithium-ion battery. These batteries work by allowing lithium ions to move within the system, enabling the battery to be charged and discharged. During this process, a small amount of heat is naturally generated. However, if the batteries are damaged or faulty, it can lead to an uncontrolled and self-sustaining increase in temperature, known as thermal runaway. Thermal runaway can be extremely dangerous, as it can cause cells within the battery to release toxic gas or even shrapnel, leading to fires that are very difficult to control. According to Daniel Flynn, Chief Fire Marshal at the Fire Department of New York, these fires can escalate rapidly, going from no fire to a fully involved fire within seconds. He compares their behavior to an incendiary fire, similar to arson or a gas leak, due to the high speed at which they spread. Such incidents pose new challenges for firefighters and emergency responders, as these fires behave differently from accidental fires seen in the past. Battery damage in electric vehicles can happen in various scenarios, such as during a crash or when the battery gets submerged in water, like what occurred during Hurricanes Ian and Sandy. Some of the e-bike fires in New York were linked to poorly constructed batteries, where manufacturers cut corners on a crucial component known as the separator. The separator is a special membrane that keeps the battery's positive and negative electrodes apart, while enabling the movement of lithium ions. Many separators are made using polymer films, which can be expensive and challenging to produce. For instance, one type of separator material called polyolefin polymer costs only $1.30 per kilogram as a raw material, but the processed product can cost significantly more, ranging between $120 and $240 per kilogram. If the separator fails, it allows energy to discharge uncontrollably, leading to the battery's electrolyte fluid heating up and boiling. This overpressurizes the battery and may result in a fire. According to Flynn, these fires also present a significant risk of rekindling, making them particularly challenging for firefighters to handle. Bike riders who use electric bikes often buy extra batteries sometimes ones that don't match or have been refurbished, so they can replace depleted cells and keep riding. They return home after long rides on roads like Atlantic Avenue and plug in these worn-out batteries at various places, even in their bedrooms. Some sketchy businesses offer battery recharging services using makeshift setups, like plywood cubbies, for a fee. Extension cords and power strips run down the walls like tangled vines. This practice is highly dangerous, and when a fire breaks out, the consequences can be deadly. According to Fritz, the situation couldn't get any riskier. It's like tossing a hand grenade into the place, highlighting the extreme danger of such practices. It's clear that the government needs to do something and do it quick. In the meantime, the recent surge of fires related to electric vehicles has had far-reaching consequences not only causing the loss of lives and property, but also resulting in significant financial burdens. A January presentation by the Department of Energy Storage and Electric Transportation at the Idaho National Library highlighted the potential financial repercussions for automakers and insurance companies, who may face substantial losses due to warranty and liability issues stemming from these fire incidents. Moreover, negative public perception of electric vehicles may further exacerbate financial losses for these industries. As news of these fires spread, there is a legitimate concern that people's reservations towards electric vehicles will increase significantly. The fear of potential fire explosions can take a toll on public confidence and might discourage potential buyers from considering electric vehicles as a viable option for transportation. Despite the well-known environmental benefits of EVs, the association with fire-related incidents can overshadow their positive impact. The fear instilled by these incidents has the potential to slow down the overall adoption of electric vehicles. People might perceive EVs as risky or unsafe, even though such fire incidents are relatively rare compared to the vast number of electric vehicles on the roads. What do you think about this issue? Let us know down in the comments section.